Hello and welcome back to the weekly ranking show where we go through all the ranking changes from the ATP and the WTA. Also having a look at the race to the WTA and ATP finals at the end of the year. And after a big two weeks in France during the French Open, we got some big changes on the ATP and the WTA. Let's go check them out. Starting with the ATP top 10 for this week, Novak Djokovic, winner of the French Open. He stays at number one. Daniel Medvedev is at number two after a very impressive quarterfinal appearance at the French Open. Rafa Nadal stays at number three. And we have a big change with Dominic Team and Stefano Sitz Pass switching places. Obviously, City Pass making the final of the French Open. He gained a lot of points for that. And Dominic Team dropping his 2019 final points. So they changed spots. City Pass at four, team at five. Sasha Zverev stays at number six after making the semifinals of the French last week. Rublev at number seven. Federer is at number eight. Matteo Berrettini at number nine. And Diego Schwartzman drops down one spot, replaced by Batista Agu, who comes in at number 10. Having a look at the race to the ATP finals, the race to Turin, and Novak Djokovic. He has taken top spot after winning the French Open. He takes that spot away from Stefano Tsitsipas, so they switch spots. Djokovic won, and Tsitsipas at number two. Andre Rublev has gone down two spots to number five, replaced by Alexander Zverev after a great French Open. He's at number three. Rafa Nadal comes in at number four, so he's gone up two spots after making the semifinals of the French. Rublev comes in at number five. Medvedev's gone down to number six. And Matteo Berrettini, he has gone up to number seven, two spots higher than last time after a quarterfinal appearance at the French, pushing down Karatsev to number eight. Yannick Zinna goes up two spots into number nine. And Hubert Hercatch, who's dropped two spots, he's at number 10 with Kasper Rudd falling out of the top 10 completely. So players outside the top 10 have gone up in the rankings. For Kina, he's gone up to 35 in the world, and that's 11 spots higher than last week, and a career high ranking for him as well. And Lorenzo Massetti has gone up 15 spots to a career high 61 in the world after a very impressive performance at the French Open. Players that have dropped down in the rankings this week, Yannick Sinner, he dropped outside the top 20, dropping four spots after not quite replicating his quarterfinal appearance at the French Open last year. And Stan Wawrinka, he has also dropped down four spots to number 28 in the world after not competing at the French Open. Having a look at the WTA rankings now, the top 10 for the women, and there's no change. Even though we got a new champion, some of the players in the top 10 didn't actually have great French Open, so hasn't got any changes there. Ash Barty stays at number one. Naomi Osaka comes in at number two, followed by Simona Halep, who didn't play the French Open. She's at number three, followed closely by Arena Sabalenka at number four. Sofia Kennan, she's at number five, followed very closely behind by Svetolina at number six. Andrescu's at number seven. Serena Williams at number eight. Igis Fiontek, she's at number nine. And Carolina Pliskova rounds out the top 10. Having a look at the WTA finals race now, the race to Shenzhen, and there's some big changes in this one. Ash Barty, she's there, is at number one, but we have a brand new number two, the French Open champion, Krejcikova. She has gone up 10 spots from last time and is now at number two in the race to the finals, pushing down Sabalenka to go down to number three and Osaka down to number four. We've got Sviontek, she's at number five. Muguruth has dropped down two spots as well, down to number six. And the finalist of the French Open, Anastasia Pavlichenkova, she also is now making her 2020 WTA finals debut during our ranking show. She's going up 27 spots to number seven in the rankings. And Maria Sakari, after making the semi-finals of the French, has also come up eight spots to take the number eight spot. Brady's gone down three to number nine. And Coco Goff rounds at the top 10, pushing out Mertens, Kudamatova, Pagula, and Svetolina, who were all featured in the top 10 last week. Having a look at some of the players that have gone up in the rankings this week, and I think it's the obvious ones. Krajakova, she is the French Open champion. She's gone up to a career-high 15 in the world. That's 18 spots higher than last week. And the runner-up, Pavlachenkova, she has gone up 13 spots to number 19 in the world, which is a career-high ranking for her as well. So both finalists at the French Open in career best form. Some of the players that have dropped down in the rankings, Joe Conta, she has gone down 10 spots to number 30 in the world after failing to replicate French Open semi final that she made two years ago, losing a lot of points there. And also Vondra Sova, she's gone down 20 spots to number 41 in the world after making the final in 2019 and couldn't replicate and save those points. So there you have it. There are the rankings for the week. And always after a big Grand Slam tournament, we're going to get some big changes. Not so much on the top 10 of the men and the women, but outside the top 10. And obviously the ATP finals, the WTA finals, they're starting to get shaped now. And we've got Wimbledon in a couple weeks too. So it's going to get really interesting over the next couple of weeks. Let me know down in the comments below. Who are you most shocked about maybe going into the race for the ATP finals or the WTA finals? Or players that are not featured. You know, there's players like Dominic Team, who didn't have the greatest French Open, lost in the first round. He hasn't had a great 2021. Will he actually make the finals for the ATP at the end of the year? So after a couple of weeks in France, some players have career high rankings 